Okay. Um, yo, I've been trying to get this, this interview on the books for a minute right now. You know, I'm excited to speak to this guy. I have danced to his music in a lot of clubs over the course of my life. Um, Atlanta Zone, the King of Crunk. Please welcome one part of the East Side Boys, my man Big Sam. Big Sam, what up? Man, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy Big Sam, man, aka Gas Can Shout It, aka Bubba and Putting Son, man. You know what I'm saying? We just get down like that, man. What's going on, Sean? Um, yo, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Good to have you on the show, man. Yo, you, 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 gas can shorty. What, what yes, the sir. hell is in that right now? Oh, got to make sure ain't nobody around. You said what? Just a little, just a little drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! And you know something? Even before I get into it, where did that even come from? When did you decide, yo, I'm gonna start putting my drink in the gas can? Um. Uh, Funny story, man. Um, we was in uh Orlando. Was it Orlando? Yeah, Orlando. You know when they had uh the Black Beach weekend and stuff and MTV. Yep, yep. Yeah, so we was down there and we was on the tour bus coming in, sitting in the traffic, and I seen these guys walking down the street, drinking out the gas cans. I'm like, what the hell? Oh man, fuck. So I went and told everybody, I said, man, no, look, they're drinking out gas cans, man. So I hopped out the bus and ran to the 7-Eleven, got me a gas can, came back, filled it up. And then uh, Bo and John, they went and got one, came back. So that whole weekend, we was drinking out the gas cans, but they left there as they didn't want to do it. So I just kept it going, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so so literally, y'all was on the, the tour bus and people was walking down the street drinking out of a gas can. And you was like, oh, that's it. Yep, yep. And um, I bumped into them guys a couple of years later and stuff. They was like, Man, he's still drinking out the gas can. I like, man, hey, look, I tell everybody I ain't come up with it, but you know, I just took it and ran with it. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. I never even heard that story. I always wondered, yo, where did that come from? Because that's so damn creative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I appreciate them guys. <laughs> you said you appreciate them guys? I appreciate them guys. I, I was looking for my gimmick and uh, I found it. Yo, but I'm, I'm going to tell you something. That's some real talk right there, because a lot of people, you know, they, they just took credit for it. A lot of people would have been like, yo, I came up with this. I was sitting home one day and put my joint in the gas can, and that's just me. So for you to even get them credit, I'm sure they somewhere in Orlando, somewhere in Florida, like, yo, Sam is a real one. Yeah, I always give them credit, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, but since then, though, you know, I do got the originals and, you know what I'm saying, get them made every now and then, but I got some Man, I should have brought them. I should have. I should have brought them for the props. But I got some, some other cans I drink out of too, though. That I, I don't stepped it up. You know what I mean? Oh, so you just stepped it up. Yeah. All right. Um. And speaking of that, how, like, how much does that hold? That's like five gallons or something. Uh, it's actually a, what a, a gallon of gas. If I'm not mistaken, uh, shit, I don't I know, man. You can get five gallons up in you there. Probably, you probably get a five in here, man. I ain't. I don't know. It'll tell you, but I don't. It got all the stuff wrote on it, so you can't tell. Just go uh, home. Just know I poured her. I tell you how much I don't pour in here before. Yeah, that's where um, I'm going. Okay, I poured a whole fifth of Hennessy in here with uh with the Crunk Energy drink and filled it up to about where the top of that east at. Yeah, so I guess you could say a five gallon and um. I didn't drink all of it. That's when I, I started pouring it out, pouring it in people's mouth, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, I had people riding the boat before it was called riding the boat. <laughs> driving the boat, I'm sorry. Before it was called driving the boat, you know what I mean? I, yeah, yeah. We was already doing that. We just pouring their mouth. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. And that's, that's one of them things everybody remember you for. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, man, me... you know You got to have a gimmick in this game, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody don't know. They, everybody got a gimmick, whether you what are you um, trying to have one or not? It might be the way your uh, rhyme cadence is, you know what I'm saying? Or it may be your ad libs, you know? It may be your dress, your swag, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got to give me. Is, is that something you always was conscious of and aware of? Like, even when you came in the game, like, yo, I got to have something that's, that is signature me. Something that when people yeah. think of the East Side Boys, they think of Big Sam, they think this. Yeah, yeah, true, true, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't want to do the pimp cup. Yeah, we had pimp cups and stuff. I'm like, 
that ain't my lane. That's more John lane. I need my own lane. You know what I'm saying? So this came about. Hey, I opened the lane up and ran down. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.